There's that thing where I think about how, you know, this reminds me a lot of the research that's sort of anti barefoot or anti barefoot shoes. Uh, they talk about how they've taken people who are used to running in shoes and they've get, given them time to acclimate to barefoot shoes by having them run in a treadmill for five minutes, at which point I face palm the hell out of myself. Um, it's like, no, that's not getting acclimated. And, and in a similar vein, I don't think there's been, uh, there, there, I, I can't imagine there's been research where it's the right kind of comparison of someone who has gotten used to either condition and seeing how they perform. And of course, there's no way to do a double blinded test because you can tell if your heels are jacked up or not. So yeah. it, it's such a tricky thing. And I wonder how much is also in the same way that some of the sh super shoe stuff is placebo because there are still people winning races who aren't wearing their shoes. Um, I wonder how much of it is when you know you have a shoe that's supposed to improve your performance, your performance is improved because of what your brain is doing. Yeah, more 2016. Uh, and it, this was actually on discussing uh, potentials for uh, wrist development mm -hmm. because you have this psychological dependence on the equipment. Uh, and this is specific to Olympic lifting shoes, by the way, oh. and the perceived performance enhancement. Right. So I think we could extrapolate that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it's around increasing athletic performance based on the psychological effects of the shoes.